my dear technician welcome back to the part two of the video i posted yesterday check this out this phone is only showing charging light please if you have not watched part one please go and watch part one i will drop the part one in the description of this video or in the comment section of this video my dear technician the first thing is for me to connect jumper wire to the v bus check this out you may ask father joe why do you want to test the v bus I want the test is to be sure that it is not from the flex. There are some time flex could cause the issue, I mean the screen flex, that is taking power from the down board to this main board. So it is important for you to do this. My dear technician, let me apply voltage. Let me apply 5 volts and see if I will have any output voltage. I want to see if I will have 4.2. Output voltage to the battery. I want to be sure that the charging IC is working. If not working, I will check it and change it. My dear technician, please wait. From the DC power supply, you can see the voltage I input, which is 5 volts, and you can see the arms drawn. Okay, the arms drawn is 95, 14 something, which is normal. Okay, this is the charging IC you can see, and it's not heating up. Nothing is wrong. My dear technician, check this out. Let me show you the charging light. You can see the charging light is lighting, showing you that there's input voltage. There's input voltage. My dear technician, I take my time to feel the panel. I mean, I touch it to feel it. If there's any component that is heating up, there's no component that is heating up. Everything is working just fine. I did the initial, the next thing is for me to bring my multimeter. I want to test the output to see if the output will give me 4.2 or 4.1 volt. I want to be sure that the charging I see is working perfectly. Check this out. Let me set it to 20 volt. Please wait. Let me set my multimeter. I want you guys to see everything. Okay. Check this out. First thing, I connect the negative to the ground and... You can see that we have 3.9 here. Check this out. Check the multimeter. We have 3.9, meaning that the charging IC is working. Nothing is wrong with the charging IC. Let me read it again for you guys to see. Check this out. Check this out. 3.9. Nothing is wrong with the charging IC. The charging IC is still working. Nothing is wrong with the charging IC. But the phone is not turning on. The phone is not even charging. My dear technician, I will go further and check. Okay. I have a lot of methods that I will use to fix this phone. So this phone must work. I have a lot of methods that I will use to fix this phone. My dear technician, I will take my time to go deeply and check. My dear technician, let me put the PCB. The casing is important. Let me do so. I want to check something because there are some times... The down board could be the issue, and there are sometimes the flex, I mean the screen flex, could be the issue. It is important for you to take your time to check and be sure. The next thing is for me to bring my multimeter and connect charger to the phone and test it. My dear technician, let me test it. Check this out. First thing is for me to test the VBAT to see if there's voltage. Check this out. We don't have voltage. My dear technician, I just detected an error and check the VBOS right here. We have voltage and VBAT. We don't have voltage. My dear technician, something is wrong here. Something is wrong here. Something seriously is wrong here. I need to take my time and check. My dear technician, please wait. I want to show you something. Please wait. Okay. So let me disconnect the screen. Let me disconnect the screen. Just disconnect the screen now. And I turn the PCB to check if there is anything you can see. Nothing. No physical damage. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong, as you can see. So the next thing is for me to input voltage. I need to inject voltage, 5 volts. Check this out. I take my time to do this. My dear technician, I just noticed something. What I notice is that 
if you remove the PCB from the casing, everything in this phone works fine. The charging IC, charge. Anyway, just wait till I'm done with this testing. I want to be fully sure. Want to be fully sure. Check this out. Check this out. Please wait. Just connect it now. I connect the positive and the negative. Now let me turn and test. I want to test. Mm -hmm. Good. Just connect negative now. I will turn and test. If we have 4.2 or 3.9. Check this out, my dear technician. Check this out. Let me test it for you guys to see. Check this out. You can see now we have 3.9. My dear technician, I think something is wrong with the flex that is taking power from the down board to this main board. Or is from the down board itself. Maybe they have changed the down board. I will check. My dear technician, check this out. My dear technician, the next thing is for me to fix it again and be sure, okay? I want to be sure that either the flex is the problem or the down board. So that is why I fix it again. My dear technician, the next thing is for me to use my DC power supply and test it. Check this out. Check this out. You can see there is a wire connected to the V bus. I'm not using the flex. I'm using a wire connected to the V bus line. And check this out. I connect battery. I want to test something. Now let me connect negative. Check the DC power supply. One, two, ready and go. Check this out. You can see the battery is charging. You can see very well that the battery is charging. You can see the arms drawn. You can see the arms consume. You can see. You can see the battery is charging. My dear technician, the problem of this phone is from this flex. It's from this flex. The problem is from this flex, my dear technician. The problem is not even from the main board. The problem is from this flex. My dear technician, the problem is from this flex. Okay, now let me disconnect. My dear technician, the next thing is for me to remove the screen. Check this out. I will take my time to do this. Check this out. I have to remove the screen. To check if there is anything that could be the issue. I will check the lines. If there is anything that is shorting, it's important for you to do so. My dear technician, if you have any question that you want to ask me, you are free. Okay? If you have any question, please ask me a question. If you have any question, my dear technician, I will be done. I will be done. Please wait. I will be done. Please wait. I will be done. Check this out. I'm done. My dear technician, this is the screen after I disconnect it, after I remove it from this uh, casing. Check this out. My dear technician, so the next thing is for me to connect the panel. I mean PCB. I'll connect the screen to the PCB. I want to track and know where the problem is coming from. My dear technician, this is what we call troubleshooting. You take your time to do this. You want to be sure where the problem is coming from and not just that you're also learning a lot okay my dear technician let me show you the down board you will see if they have changed the down board before or not my dear technician check this out they have changed the down board i'm very sure the problem of this phone is from the down board and this down board is not the original down board my dear technician this down board is not the original down board the problem is from the down board. My dear technician, to prove to you guys that this problem is from the down board, you can see I connected the down board and I connect charger. Now, let me take you over to my DC power supply and show you the arms consume. You can see 5 volts and arms is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.002. You can see that it's not drawing any arms. It's not consuming any arms, meaning that uh, something is wrong and the phone will not charge it's only going to show the charging light let me test it for you guys to see let me test it for you guys to see it is important for you to know how to troubleshoot so that you can be able to fix phone issues let me test it now for you guys to see check this out i test the v but you can see zero zero 
something is wrong by the technician. This phone will never work unless I change the downboard. I asked the owner where is the old downboard. The owner told me that they threw it away. And guys, I don't just know what to do now because getting the original downboard, I need to order it online and it's going to take time. I did technician, this video is part by part. Please don't be angry. This video is part by part because it's too long. Okay. So this is the part two. The part three of this video is coming very soon. Make sure you check and watch. In the part three of the video, I will show you how you can fix this issue without time wasted. My technician, check the part three and watch. Bye bye for now. I love you all.